YouTube. This is going to be my makeup basket for the week of January the 14th. So my second makeup basket for 2018. I am going to jump right in. I am going to show you everything randomly as I always do. Now you are going to hear a lot of noise in the background because I have everything in this basket here. So it'll be clacking around. I'm sorry in advance for the excess noise. So we're going to jump right in. I am going to show you because I have these on the top, my eyeshadow palettes for the week. The first one that I am going to show you, I had in my basket, I'm going to put that down. I had it in my basket last week and never really used it. I think it's because it's such a tiny palette and it kind of got hidden up under other things. But so this is from Bare Minerals and it is from like a today's special auto delivery from maybe year before last. But this is a little eyeshadow trio and it is called the Mood Makers. It has three eyeshadows in it. It has one uh, Trey Chic, Cloud Nine, and Euphoria. So this is what they look like. And I'm not going to, there we go, I'm not going to try to zoom in and focus on everything because that'll take forever but this is the mood makers from bare minerals the next eyeshadow palette that i have is from Too faced and it is the chocolate gold palette and i actually got this palette as a um christmas gift from my husband and this is what it looks like on the inside um Hopefully going to be trying to play with some of the colors in that palette this week instead of making everything so super neutral. Um, the third palette that I have is an oldie, but I can't let this one go. This one is from Too Faced also, and it is called the Everything Nice Palette. And these are the shadows, which I absolutely love. I recently did a video where I said I was letting go of the Joy to the Girls palette, but this one I just wanted to hold on to, mainly for the shadows, because this here is kind of too light for me, but we'll be using that. Well, I will be using that this week. And then the last eyeshadow palette I have, I got it because I saw it on Coils of Love channel. And it is from Nika K. It is the Perfect 23 eyeshadow palette. And it is all matte. They look like this. And I actually did use it today to do my eyes. And this is what the palette looks like. Um, That won't go back in. Also, I have a couple of foundations that have been in my collection for a good little bit of time both of them are foundations that I have two shades of because I have to mix them one is too light one is too dark the first one that I'm going to show you is from Josie Mary and it is her vibrancy argon oil foundation and this is what the packaging looks like I have it in two shades I have it in this one is fearless and then this one is magical as you can see fearless is too light magical is a little bit too dark for me so i want to be mixing the two of these together i have two come on i have two foundations from it cosmetics and if you watched my video a couple of videos ago i did a today's special preview with them and this foundation was in that video and it is the confidence in a compact I have it in Rich, and let me show you Rich. And this is the one with the little flap that closes over it. So this is the shade Rich, which is a little too light for me since they changed what Rich is. And then I have it also in the shade Deep. What's that? I got makeup on my fingers or something. And this is what deep looks like. So that is a little bit too dark for me. So I'll be mixing the two of these together. And I did have somebody ask me how I liked the foundation. I really like this foundation. It is definitely full coverage. The only thing that I did not like about it is like right here in my, right across my nose and my cheeks. I get super oily. Like I'm already kind of oily in that area anyway, but I noticed 
even more oiliness right across that area with the um, Confidence in a Compact. Nothing powder couldn't take care of, but FYI, I did feel a little extra oily in that area. I have two blushes um, this week, only two blushes, and both of them are from MAC. I figured both of these would be pretty much universal with whatever I was going to be throwing together on my face today. The first one is Stubborn, and this is just one of the Pro Longwear blushes, so this is Stubborn. And then this one is Raisin, and this is just the powder blush in Raisin. I have, which I had in my basket from last week, the Kilowatt um, highlighter from Fenty Beauty, and I have it in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And it looks like this. I put it back in my basket this week because I didn't use it last week. Stuff might start falling on the floor. I have two highlighters from um, Laura Geller. I had to look down from Laura Geller and these are her baked gelato highlighters. I have it in Ballerina, which I have on my cheeks today. I don't know, I think you can see it. That is Ballerina on the cheeks today. Um, almost lost my, my foundation. I'm telling you, it's a mess right here. And I also have it in Gilded Honey, which is a YouTube favorite. And I think I actually like Ballerina a little bit better than I like Gilded Honey. Um, I threw this back in my basket just like a minute ago because I used it for an inner corner highlight. And this is the Effortless Airbrush Highlighter from Mally Beauty. And it is in a newer color. And it is in the color Sunrise. Because my eyeshadow was all matte, I didn't have anything like shimmery. So I grabbed this to use as an inner corner highlight. So that might be how I use it for the rest of the week. Y'all, I am trying to make a conscious effort to look at the camera instead of looking at... I have my viewfinder right here on the side. So I naturally tend to look at myself to make sure everything is okay. I'm trying to make a conscious effort to look into the lens now. Um, my next item I am going to be using as a base for my eyeshadow. I have two things actually. One of them I used today. And that is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This is actually the Peach Corrector. And I put that on my eyelids as an eyeshadow base. And then I just used like sort of a flesh tone colored um, eyeshadow to set it. I also have, I'm going to use this one the same way, the um, It Cosmetics CC Plus Eye Color Correcting Concealer. My eyelids are like getting darker, I feel like. Anyway, I'm just going to use it to conceal and as an eyeshadow base to both of these this week. This one turned out pretty good. I may just stick with this one, but the plan is to try both of them and see which one works best. Um, my brows, I am going to try to go back. When I first started doing my brows, I always did powder eyebrow products. And then I got away from it because... I got the um, brow powder from It Cosmetics and that's my like absolute holy grail. I want to try to depart from that a little bit and use some of my collection. I picked up a while ago and it's just been in my drawer the Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder from Tarte. And that is what the packaging looks like. I have it in the color Rich Brown. So we'll see how I like this this week. I have two mascaras one i didn't open last week and i don't know if i'm going to open this week it's from bare minerals the flawless definition volumizer mascara which was like my first favorite found um, mascara from bare minerals i love the brush that comes on this and it actually does do a good job of volumizing my um, eyelashes still don't know if i'm going to open that but it will be in my basket and then the other one is a Tarte favorite, and this is the Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I have um, a Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca in the tube, the sort of liquidy one that I'm going to try to see how I like it under my foundation. 
it is winter time you feel like you look blah and you feel like you need more glow so I'm going to try to use a little bit of this under my foundation and see how that works out for my under eyes before I put any um concealer or anything under them I'm going to use this hydrating under eye primer from elf this works very well this like lives on my desk but I thought I would mention it it works very well to keep your eyelids your under eyes from looking creepy when you put um you get older especially when you put concealer on sometimes you can see like the the what do I want to say the texture up under your eyes this does a good job of sort of smoothing your under eyes out not expensive I think it was like three bucks um but it does a good job of smoothing the under eye before you put concealer on so we'll be using that this week um also another thing that I'm going to try as a base before my foundation is from MAC and it's the Prep and Prime Color Corrector Color Correcting SPF 30 Broad Spectrum like a just like a color primer it is a sort of light peachy color and I'll show you I don't know how well you can see that it is a light peachy color and I'm going to use this to sort of camouflage that I'm still going to use like concealer but to camouflage that darkness under my eyes and over the top of my lip I'm going to use that as a as a primer up under my um foundations I have from Shea Moisture the illuminating powder in Mandalay Dusk I'm going to use this as like a bronzer slash contour sometimes when I put my foundation on my face looks completely flat so I'm going to use this to sort of bring some shape and some warmth back to my face and everything else I think I have is a lip color. One lip color which I have one today is from Mally and this is one of her H3 lip glosses so it's very moisturizing and this is in the color Orchid Berry. I have from Colourpop even though the name has completely rubbed off. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> one of their satin liquid lipsticks in the color Tulips. I have three MAC lipsticks. Two are limited edition. One, I cannot remember what collection this one came from, but it is in the color Hot Chocolate. So I'll be wearing that. I have one from the Mariah Carey collection, and this one is I Get So OCC. This one is actually a frost. And I have a regular line MAC and this is in the color this is just a this is a luster and this is in the color syrup I have a Too Faced I cannot remember the name of this line but one of the ones in the gold packaging and this is in the color Naughty Nude it is a little darker in person and it comes across on the camera of course, I'm still going to be wearing a lip liner, probably chestnut with that. And I'm going to be using my favorite Lorac Alter Ego lipstick in the shade Secret Agent. And it looks like that. And I think that's my makeup basket. I did it. I am amazed. <laughs> that is what I will be using in this week. The products that I will be drawing from out of this humongous makeup basket. Thank you all so much for hanging in there and watching this video with me and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.